Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jazzy. So, I am trying something new if you can't tell with these space buns and I can't tell if I feel like they are a little bit crazy. <laughs> like I literally feel like I could be Minnie Mouse or it could be like an alien. Like it's definitely a mix between the two. But I think it's cute. I just don't know. I need to adjust to it and I probably didn't do them right because it's I did them if you guys remember I was wearing space buns for like a very hot minute last year in the summer I think when they were in. I know I don't even know if they're in anymore but I don't know. I decided to they're fun so I decided to do them today but I got this package in the mail which you guys saw in my last video speaking of my last video thank you guys so much for all the love about the whole eye doctor situation I got so many comments like in support I got a couple of comments that did not like what I had to say and also I think a couple of comments like I think a couple of you didn't know where I was coming from with it I think a couple of you just didn't realize that why I'm so passionate about it and it's probably because a lot of you are new and I that's my bad for not really explaining things better for everybody but I am very like my whole purpose with my channel is to help young girls and at any age to be honest help them realize that they're beautiful no matter what they don't need to fix anything about themselves and they are beautiful just as they are if they want to change things obviously change things if you want to change things I'm in support of you making whatever decision you want about your body or your you know face or whatever your boobs anything I'm in support of changing anything that you want about yourself as long as it's what you want to do and not what someone else does. So I think I I was extremely passionate about the way that I felt about the way that the doctor talked about me. I'm not gonna go on a whole video about it again, <laughs> but I was passionate about it because this is my life. Like my life is trying to help people rectify those comments and help people come to terms with those comments and help people get get over those types of comments. I understand in my situation the doctor was probably trying to steer me in a in the right direction. He just did not articulate it properly. He didn't tell me it could affect my eyes. He didn't correlate that for me. And had he correlated it, I would have definitely felt differently and I probably wouldn't have even researched it and saw the comment that I did from that other girl about her weight. Like there's just a lot that he could have done differently. And so yes, I was heated and I understand everybody has a right to their own opinion, but the biggest reason that I was heated honestly had nothing to do with me. And I know a lot of you guys were getting defensive of my rosy cheeks and I love you guys so much. But the reality of it is, is that he didn't make me feel any which way about my rosy cheeks and in the moment I was very passionate about it but it more so had to do with the fact that I know he said it to me and that I was I'm good with my rosy cheeks me and my rosy cheeks are friends we Gucci up in this business but him saying it to somebody else who isn't good with theirs that was my fear after him saying it to me so I think maybe I didn't do a very good job because I was so passionate about it in the moment <laughs> at articulating that my issue was more so with the idea of him saying it to someone else because I have such a connection with you guys and because of the amount of times that I've heard from you guys the different things that you guys have heard from doctors and from just people in general sometimes friends family like I feel very passionate about helping women realize that they don't need to fix anything about themselves. So if you aren't familiar with that, I know like a lot of you guys found me through my hauls and I know in my hauls I'm just trying on clothes so you can't really get a feel for what I, what my goal is with my channel. My goal with my channel is to make, to help people see that you're beautiful as you are, you don't need to fix anything about yourself and I hope that I was able to articulate that in the comments for you guys as well. For those of you that did comment when I commented back. Um, but anyway, moving right along into what I really want to show you guys. And it is this package I got from Madame Glam. So they told me 
they just sent it to me. They didn't really tell me anything. They didn't tell me I had to say anything or anything about it. But I wanted to show you guys how it comes because it's actually like really freaking cool. They sent me a mini UV LED lamp. So it came with like this lamp to do gel nail polish. And I do not paint my nails very often, but I am interested. I am intrigued. So we're going to try it in this video. Not right now. I'll try it later, probably in the week. But I am super excited because they actually sent me this pale blue color, which looks really freaking pretty. And they also sent me a nude, which is so my speed. <laughs> like, I just don't really like to paint my nails that much. So I am, or like, I don't like a lot of color on my nails. I used to growing up, but as as I've gotten older, I just, I can't keep it up. I'm not going to keep it up. So we'll see. I've never used the gel nail polish before. I've only ever used regular nail polish. So we'll see how we feel about this gel nail polish and if it stays on throughout. So we're going to try it and we'll see. But I did want to show you guys that. It's a really honestly cute package. It also came with um, a top coat and a base coat. So this is going to be interesting to try this out. But what else have I been up to this week? I have been filming a ton of hauls for you guys. Hopefully you guys are ready because I literally have tried on so many clothes. I'm so exhausted. And also I know you guys are waiting anxiously for me to get this Poshmark going. I know my Poshmark this, but I know you're waiting <laughs> for me to get these clothes out. But unfortunately, after I made that video, I got this huge order in from Shein and I needed to try everything on because I, if I don't like things, I have only a certain amount of time to return them. So I had to try them on and I had to do the Shein hauls before doing the um, Poshmark stuff. I'm sorry, but it, my Poshmark clothes are still going to be here in the future. But anyway, you guys, I am probably going to get this whole get up out, off of me because I have to go for a walk. I went for a walk this morning, you guys. I'm so pumped about my foot. My foot feels like a million times better. It feels so much better now. For those of you that are new, I sprained my foot way back in the day now in January, but it was a severe sprain. And my foot hurts, but not nearly as bad as it used to, and I can actually go on like lengthy walks now which is amazing I'm so excited about it and then also something I'm really excited about Dominic and I are planning our wedding so finally we're able to plan our wedding because now we're obviously both vaccinated and my dad has started getting his vaccination he still has to get a second one and then my mom is going to follow and then hopefully maybe my sister will I'm not quite sure yet if she plans on getting vaccinated or not yet but I am just excited that everybody is, it seems like the wheels are in motion and we're happy because I think that means that I can get married. <laughs> so if everybody gets vaccinated, I will feel so much more comfortable like having just my dad in specifically. I mean, you guys know my dad's a diabetic. So if my dad at least is vaccinated, I will feel at least he's protected, which is amazing because it just makes me feel so much closer to like, I think Dominic and I both are just so pumped after like, I noticed a huge change in both of us after getting vaccinated. And vaccination isn't for everyone. I'm not going to sit here and like, encourage anybody like that doesn't feel like they want to get vaccinated to get vaccinated. I completely understand. Everybody has their own opinions on that. But I'm telling you, Dominic and I feel so much better being vaccinated. There was it was like a light switch went on in our brains prior to being vaccinated. Like planning our wedding was not even something we even talked about really. Like it was a very scary topic that we didn't even broach <laughs> because we just didn't know how it was ever going to be a possibility literally right after we got our second dose and started like after we started feeling better after our second dose we started talking about it like and it was natural so it was just amazing to like finally get that experience because obviously we got engaged for those of you that don't know actually I'm sure a lot of you don't know because we got engaged so long ago now it feels <laughs> but we got engaged in February of 2020 so we got engaged February 27th and or was it 27th February 29th it was our um or it was leap year so we got engaged on leap year or leap day so do they call it leap day is that a thing 
on February 29th, we got engaged. And then we came back into town. So we were in Colorado at that time. We came back into town and right away, the world shut down. Literally the world shut down right after we came back into town. And so like, we were excited, but we hadn't even announced that we had been engaged or anything yet. And at that point, once the world was shutting down, like it didn't even feel appropriate to announce that we were engaged. So we waited another two months to even tell people we were engaged. And the only reason we even ended up announcing that we were engaged was because I wanted to be able to tell you guys. <laughs> and so like I was struggling because we had been going two months then that I wasn't able to share that with you guys. And I mean, there were obviously a lot few of you guys at that point, but it was very exciting when we were able to tell people but at the same time it was also that like it was just a murky period of life at that moment <laughs> so it's just nice to be to like i know things aren't going back to normal and people it's a new normal really but it does feel i feel a relief knowing that we are protected as much as possible so Anyway, guys, now that I've talked your ears off, I'm going to go for a walk. I love you guys so much. And thanks again, seriously, for all of your, like, love and support on my last video. I know you guys don't have to support me. And I know that I get very passionate. <laughs> and I know that not everybody's views are the same as me. And I respect everybody's views. And so I appreciate that you guys allow me to be myself. <laughs> And I just appreciate that I have you guys to even talk this through with. So I love you all and I am going for a walk now. <laughs> hey guys, so I am going to cook a meal tonight for dinner because Dominic got super sick last night from pizza. So we are going to cook him something because we still have a whole pizza. Because usually we order in bulk, which I've told you guys before. When it, Especially when it comes to pizza, we just like to order a lot of it so that we have a lot of it and we can eat on it for a couple days so we don't have to cook and it's amazing well he got really sick so I'm going to make him this like chicken and veggie thing but I also am in the mood to like jam out to some music so I am just going to my preheated oven I am just going to like set you guys up and then I will leave the recipe below that I'm doing because it is so good. It's literally like our go-to these days because it's so easy. I think I might have actually mentioned it in like a favorites video or something before for you guys. But I figured I'd bring you guys along because and also I just got back from my walk you guys. So <laughs> I needed a walk and honestly it was horrible. I went with Sunday and it's really hard if you guys don't know like when you have a dog because you want to bring them on the walk with you but then like you have to go at their pace obviously and my baby girl <laughs> she is just very hot because it's so hot out there so it's a struggle because either you get to go and exercise or you get to bring Sunday for a walk. So I brought her, and then she got sick. I don't know <laughs> what's going around in this household, but she got sick, so we had to turn around very quickly because it was all over. It was it was actually really gross, TMI probably. <laughs> but I had to come home, and I had to give her a little bath before now cooking dinner. So I'm a little bummed because I was really looking forward to a long walk, but it is what it is. We got to look out for our baby. <laughs> so I am going to cook now, jam out to some music, and I will show you guys as I go. <laughs> Lonely days and sleepless nights Since you spoke out and hurt my pride Yeah, there's no need to say sorry I can't get you off my mind And you can't tell me this don't feel right Yeah, I know that you want me There's no need to hesitate If things go wrong, we'll take a break I know it ain't easy
keeps me sane, yeah. and you know that I need that. There's no need to hesitate if things go wrong, we'll take a break. I know it ain't easy. I may start to lose my way, things aren't fine, but that's okay. I don't need to worry. When I'm with you, when I'm wanted to open up this box I got from Chewy. I literally just ordered this stuff yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> and it already came in. So we wanted to order the cats a cat tower. Hi baby. You hear me talking? Um, we wanted to order the cats a new cat tower because we haven't had a cat tower for them since we lived in New York, which was two years ago now. We have like a really short cat tower that I'm sure you guys have seen in the background a million times. But we wanted to order another one. And Keaton, our orange cat, is heavier and also she has really bad arthritis. So we tried to order one that like she could use as well. So that has not come yet. But you know, your girl couldn't just order a cat tower. I needed to order many other things. So, and I also am easily influenced, which is actually what prompted me ordering from Chewy originally, which you guys will see. But I wanted to show you everything. So we got poop bags because we're out of them. So we got like literally 900 poop bags in here, which is amazing because we do live in a community where they have like little stands set up where you can get like, where like you can take the bags or whatever from. But we are really bad about remembering to grab them and then you have to walk all the way over there when the dog goes to the bathroom and it's just a whole thing. So, very excited about that. And then also, one more thing was the poop bags were a part of a deal. It was buy three, get one. So we also ordered this duck for Sunday. She had like a bunch of the yellow ducks we ordered on Amazon that like literally are the same duck. But I was like, eh, we might as well order this one. I wonder if it actually is the same brand or not. I think it is. I'm pretty sure it's the same brand. But she loves it. Very exciting. She's already broken into that. <laughs> is that a new ducky? I seen that on the site. I knew she'd love it. <laughs> <laughs> She's so happy. <laughs> My baby. So then we ordered a little like cat thingy for Blossom because I did like a really big deep clean and I threw out her other thing that she usually sits in. It's like a cat scratcher thing, but she just likes to like lay in it for some reason. So I said, let's order her a new one because we don't have hers anymore and then you guys this is amazing oh wait first let me show you this thing we also got this little like rope we'll see if sunday likes it but isn't it pretty i was actually impressed by it when i ordered it it didn't look this cute but it's actually like super duper cute so we'll see she doesn't really do ropes very often so we'll see if she likes it but this i'm gonna put a picture on screen of what this is you guys it's a cat scratcher i'm gonna put it in my office it's like it's shaped as a cactus which isn't really my style at all you guys know <laughs> but i thought eh, whatever it was 15 bucks you regularly i think it was like 50 or 75 or something crazy so i said worth the money to me Is 
Is there not catnip in there? Well, then why the hell is she more intrigued by the box? Yeah, but I got our new scratching pose. Awesome. Tell me why your dad likes the scratching pose more than you. <laughs> but anyway, that's just one box. Then in our other box, we got, let me just show you guys. Let's open this bad boy up. I haven't opened it yet. But this is what I was easily influenced by. If any of you guys follow Samantha Schreiber, uh, Samantha Joe, she got this for her cats and I saw it on Instagram and I was like, that's genius. I need to get one because we are trying to make our apartment look a lot more like put together and not just like there's a cat litter in the middle of the floor. So this is amazing. I'm actually so impressed already. Although it doesn't look like it. Okay, it does. Uh, so this is a cat. Oops, sorry guys. This is a cat litter. It's massive. I actually can't believe how big this is. I'm so excited. So this is just like, it's like this big cat litter. I will show you guys it once we set it up. But it is supposed to have like a, a plant on the top of it. So it doesn't really look like a cat litter. You guys, I'm going to tell you all about this once I set it up. But I feel like this is going to be amazing. Because I was worried it was going to be too small for Keton. Because like I said, she's a bigger cat. And she struggles sometimes. So we got her like a really big litter. But I feel like this is pretty similar in size. So this is exciting. This is my big purchase and why I even ordered from Chewy. Because normally I would order from like Amazon or something for a cat tower. But I said, I might as well try Chewy and see. I've heard great things about them. And everybody says that like they send them free stuff all the time. And like pictures and paintings of their animals. They did not send me a free picture or anything of any of our animals. But we should be getting the cat tower soon. I, that was what I was most excited for. So, I mean, it's fine. These boxes will honestly hold them over until we get the cat tower. Like, they're going to love this box that the kitty litter's in. Let me just show you guys. It's, it's really big. It's actually, like, massive. So, they're going to be very pleased with this box. And also, let me just show you guys. Blossom has already made her way into this one. <laughs> She's so freaking cute. <laughs> so, I think they'll be happy. You like it in there, baby? Yeah, you do, don't you? There were honestly so many options for like cat towers and stuff online for, or not cat towers, but like the scratchy things. But I only ordered this one honestly because it was in a part of the three buy three get one deal. But honestly, it's hard because they, they be trying to charge a lot of money for these cat scratchers that are literally just cardboard. <laughs> so I struggle in that department spending it. But Dominic and I both have decided that we are going to make more of an effort on treating our babies. So we want to make sure that they know that they are loved. And we just like have a tendency to buy them something and then use it for like five years. <laughs> and they just don't ever get anything upgraded. So they're going to be so happy once they get their new cat tower. And then we're also talking about ordering them a smaller cat tower as well. We will see once we get them, once the big one comes in, and if we like it, we might look into ordering them another one. But anyway, you guys, I will check back in with you guys later. I am going to paint my nails in a few minutes because Dominic and I are supposed to go to the movies tonight. So I will keep you updated on all of that. We're going to see Corella. It's our first time going to the movies since the pandemic, so this should be interesting. <laughs> hey, guys. So we just got back from the movies and it was amazing first of all we went to see Cruella if you guys haven't seen it or if you are contemplating going to the movies highly recommend going during the week so we haven't been obviously on the weekend yet but it was super nice there weren't a lot of people there um we have AMC passes so if you guys aren't familiar AMC does they have like a it's like a movie pass type thing. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of movie pass where you pay a certain amount every single month and you can go like three times a week, I think. They paused the subscription for us while the whole pandemic was going on and we could like reinstate it whenever we wanted to, whenever we felt comfortable obviously going to the movies. So we reinstated it and I'm so pumped because I've missed movies so much. Like that has been probably one of the biggest things that I've missed since the pandemic started. Like I've just missed it so much. I am a huge movie goer. I love going like that's when like I go to the movies just by myself 
all the time, or at least I did a year ago <laughs> before the pandemic hit. I used to go all the time. Like, that was my downtime. That was my time to, like, disconnect and not check, like, anything. It just... It was always such a good time. And growing up, like, my family has always been big moviegoers. So it was nice to go. And there weren't a lot of people in the theater, which was amazing. We also had a whole row to ourselves, which was super cool. So that was really nice. We really, really liked the movie as well. It was a great movie. Great, like, first movie back. So that was nice. What else did I want to tell you guys? Um, I used, okay, so I put my gel nail polish on you guys. I don't even know if I want to show you it because I don't feel like it's a good depiction of <laughs> this product. <laughs> so I feel like I need to either try it again when I'm not so tired because it's literally two in the morning right now, you guys. Dominic and I have had a wild night. So first we went to obviously the movies. Then we came home. We watched the Bo Burnham special on Netflix depressing so depressing but so relatable if you guys have like mental health like if you have if you struggle with your mental health it would be a hard one to watch and honestly if like it was hard for me to watch if I hadn't watched it with Dominic it would have been way worse like it would have been so hard so very depressing but also very awesome to like get to I'll, I'll probably talk about it like in a favorites video or something but it was just really nice to be able to show Dominic what it's like being at home the whole time during the pandemic and it was just like really interesting if you guys have watched that definitely comment below not many people have watched it I literally posted a whole thing on Instagram about it and I got like two messages which was way less than I was expecting I figured way more people would have watched it but so we watched that and then I actually apparently never finished the Taylor Swift Long Pond Studio Sessions, which blows my freaking mind, because if you are new here, you don't know, but Taylor Swift is everything to me. I love Taylor Swift. I just can't believe I never finished it. So I finished that tonight, so that's why we're up till 2 in the morning. It's just been, it's been a wild night. I'm still getting comments on my other video, my eye doctor video. It's been like a week now, and people are just not loving me on it. <laughs> and it's just like, I think a lot of them, like, I'm popping up for them, and they don't watch my videos normally, obviously, but it's just so odd to me like just how quick people are to be rude and like mean on the internet I just I know that like it's expected because I'm obviously on the internet and like posting stuff but it's just it blows my mind and I genuinely just want to ask them if they're okay like but anyway you guys I am really tired Dominic and I are gonna go to sleep once he gets back after he walks Sunday it's been an exhausting couple of days, but I am actually think I'm going to end the vlog here so that I can start up another one. I love you guys so much. I hope you like this video. I will see you guys in my next one. <laughs>